Good morning, everyone. Welcome to a day in my life as a spacecraft systems engineer. Echo, can you turn on the lights? Okay. Yeah, I know. I look just like all of the other engineers you've ever imagined. I can't believe it either. But this little blonde girl you see is in fact an engineer working in the space industry. I'm filming this video to give a little more insight on what a day in my life actually looks like as an engineer. I wake up naturally, but my alarm goes off at 5.30 and that kind of inspires the rise. If I don't have anything too crazy going on in the morning, I often make a to-do list. I like to check in there and kind of set my goals for the day, which sets me up in a really good spot. And then I started working. I like to bop around when I work, so I'll work in the kitchen and I'll work in my office and I'll just around to keep it exciting. Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Carly, if you're new here. It is 8.30 in the morning. I just got off one meeting, I'm about to head into another. I have some other stuff going on this afternoon that's gonna bring me out of the house. Me and Sabrina are gonna grab lunch and then I'm gonna finish up work on west coast hours let's talk a little bit about how i became a spacecraft systems engineer because crazy to me too while you guys watch me get ready i figured i would talk about how i ended up in the space industry because i know a lot of you have probably found this channel and figured out who i am from the aviation things i do if you haven't I also fly planes. <laughs> I am a flight instructor, I'm a pilot, I fly formation, I do a bunch of different things. I'm in the air. <laughs> and then I'm also a 20 something year old girl, so I do all these other things that you can imagine that 20 something girls do. And me and my partner are renovating the house and we have like a bunch of stuff going on. I figured since I literally never talk about this, I figured I would kind of share how I got into the space industry and <laughs> what that looked like for me. I figured I would talk about this because I just did a podcast interview and I spoke about this and it's a part of my life that I don't speak about a lot so I figured I'd share. For those who don't know, I grew up in the aviation community very heavily, so I was exposed to aerospace and actual space throughout my childhood, which is very unique and very cool. Ironically, my father and brother are also engineers and pilots. I did not see myself turning into a tiny engineer when I was younger, but I grew up super artistic, and to me, engineering combines math and science and art and creativity. When I went to college, I kind of rolled with it just to see if I like it, and turns out I love it. So I graduated early, got my degrees, <laughs> it off into the working world. I studied engineering in college. I went to school in San Diego and I graduated in 2020. In college, I was involved in a bunch of different organizations. One of them was a Society of Women Engineers. It was rad, go sweet. I'm still a part of it. I've now gone to conferences as a hiring manager for my company and been on that side of things, which is really wild. I was at a conference in 2019 and I got interviewed and got a job offer with my company. And my role was on human space, which was insane. And that was my dream. I get my fill of normal aviation in my free time with flying and all the things I do there. So I knew professionally, I always wanted to explore space but I in no way knew that I was gonna find a role there right after college, and I'm so grateful for that. So got hired in 2019, started full-time in 2020. I worked there for under a year, and then I got switched out of human space into the on-orbit servicing side of the space industry, which all of this is was over my head too, and now this is my real life, and we talk about it every day. My, this is my life. On orbit servicing means servicing satellite and spacecraft. That's my day to day. I'm so grateful to be a part of this industry. It's really crazy. Every day at work, I pinch myself because the conversations we're having, we're talking about like crazy things <laughs> like space robots. And that's just a normal conversation, normal day's work. And that's really weird and really crazy. And I love it insight on the rest of my life. Right now I'm on the West coast. I'm from the West coast. There's moving boxes. So I'm moving this upcoming move will be my last move. I'm a flight instructor. So when I'm on the West Coast, I work East Coast hours. When I'm on the East Coast, I work East Coast hours. So if I'm out here, I can fly in the afternoons and evenings. If I'm out there, I fly in evenings and weekends. I've had a crazy life and somehow I ended up being an engineer, which 
I understand is crazy. I think it's crazy too. I meet people in the wild and I can't tell you how many times I've been at bars and people are like, what do you do? And I'm like, I'm an engineer. And they're like, no, really, what do you do? And I'm like, no, really, I'm an engineer. Everyone makes the joke of like, oh, rocket science and blah, blah. But part of that is my real life. <laughs> and so I think it's crazy too. I understand that. I never talk about it because it is highly unrelatable. I get that. But because I touched on it in that podcast I was just interviewed on and I've mentioned it in other videos. I have a get to know me video and I, that's people ask what my job is and how I fund my flying addiction <laughs> and that's how yeah I figured I would provide some insight on how I got into this world so for the rest of the day you'll see I pop on to meetings I'm actually having lunch with a friend after this and then I have a couple more meetings this evening and then a couple more hours of work but I'm gonna take a break go to lunch and then touch base when I'm back that's nice <laughs> That's it. That's and then the whole thing. Every... We started doing it at the beginning. I go, oh, I'm ready. Clearly, I want to figure it out. She was so nervous today, and I was like, what are we doing? <laughs> Walking, we're no longer by the water. Where it is, we've walked 11,000 11, steps. 11,000 steps. Getting on to 12 soon. Mm -hmm. Cruising home, then it's dinner time. Thing After dinner, I did a 50 minute yoga flow with Jesse on the phone, and then I just finished my reading. I'm doing 75 hard, which is a complete aside, but just finished my reading, and I'm gonna get ready for bed. It is 9.22. I'm very tired. You've made it this far. Thank you. I don't think it was a crazy interesting video because I obviously can't show you too much of my work, but just kind of good to discuss what's actually happening in my day today. Thank you for watching a day in my life as an engineer from the space program. I look forward to seeing you in the next one. See you soon. Get them. Get them afterwards. <laughs>